Hi everybody, this is Angie from TorAngie.com and today my video is going to be driving down the street here and driving through Bluefield, West Virginia, the downtown area. Uh, they're about to tear down some old buildings down there and I wanted to get them on this video before that section of the Bluefield is gone because, yeah, um, well, they're, you know, part of the Bluefield history and, um, very recognizable to people from this area so i just wanted to show it off and we'll talk a little bit about downtown too this is the washington street area um there's a lot of these streets right here that take you to college avenue here at the bottom that are similar where they're really downhill um They've installed speed bumps lately, lately, but back in the day there used to not be speed bumps. So let's talk a little bit about history. Um, Bluefield was founded in 1777. And the name Bluefield is because of... Well, I've always heard it was because of the blue fields or the appearance of blue fields uh, from, you know, the mountain or whatever. But it's actually the chicory plant that gave it the um, blue hue or blue, co blue color. That's why it was called blue field. So after the Civil War, you know, West Virginia became a state separate from Virginia and Bluefield, West Virginia, uh, is on the border of Virginia. So, anyway, back to Bluefield, West Virginia in particular. Um, I guess it started in about the 1880s. Coal really started booming in the area. Um, there's a coal mine close by. It's Pocahontas Coal Mine. And then there was coal mines in McDowell County, which were really cl considered close to Bluefield. So that made Bluefield the place to be. I mean, of course, uh, you may have heard of Bramwell, West Virginia. That's where the millionaires lived and all the coal company owners and all that kind of stuff. But Bluefield was really a major, a major place for coal. Um, and, you know, on up through the 1900s for a while, um, Coal was big. It made the it made the sky the the large buildings in Bluefield, which you're going to see some of them, the ones that are still left in the town or in the city, and the huge railroad tracks. I mean, there was tons of tracks. There's still a good many, but you'll still see coal on those railroad tracks, but on those trains. But I mean, it used to have tons tons of uh, trains leaving with full of coal. But that was you know many years ago. In fact, it was probably well. It was even more so before I was even born. Also, random fact, um, the there was a list during World War, war, uh, war oh gosh, I can't even speak today, World War II um, that had Bluefield, West Virginia is one of the places that the Nazis wanted to bomb. Now, I've, I've, I've heard that and I've read that, but I don't know exactly, like, why or who or whatever but i'm sure it had to do because this area was producing the coal for the united states and another little bit of history that i had heard was at one point really far back in the day um, the tallest building outside of new york city was in bluefield west virginia of granted, you know, that changed real quickly with, you know, bigger cities popping up and different things. But still, that's pretty cool that we had a very tall building one time that was comparable to one in New York City, the ones in New York City. Anyway, go, gone are those days of coal. Everything, I mean, it started to go downhill, um, but our in the 80s, things really started to go downhill. And that's when I started remembering Bluefield. Um, businesses started shutting down, um, and the city was changed forever. People, in fact, you can tell it now, people don't live here as much anymore. Uh, most of the people live, uh, that have lived here left. I mean, I was one that left myself. I'm just living three hours south of here, but still, I come back often, but 
a lot of people left the area because coal is not, well, it's not a job anymore. I mean, it is, and there's still some mines, but it's not the job that it used to be. Um, so people have moved on because they're, this is what this area was for was coal. All right, so now I'm going to be turning left, um, going, heading on down to uh, the downtown area of Bluefield. Um, there's, you know, so much that's still the same after all these years, but a lot that's still different from, um, that's changed. Just businesses have went out and everything. Um, just a lot of changes. So let's uh, head down to the downtown area. You can just tell it through here. The businesses that have went out of business and those um, buildings there that are coming up through here just a lot of them are gone it's uh yeah it's different oh they made a little dog park over there to the left i didn't even realize that i don't can't remember if there was a building there at one point or if it's always been there but i just I didn't realize that maybe they just turned it into a little park but yeah, you're still seeing um, lots of businesses. It's just, yep, things are gone. Um, and it's been happening gradually over for a while now. Um, but now we're getting to the places I was really wanting to talk about. Of course, up here, the blue building kind of at the middle here is uh, like the Chamber of Commerce. And um, then over on the left, be uh, on the left side of the Chamber of Commerce, is um, a one-way street coming up the hill where we're going to go down the hill first. Um, right over here to the right is the Bluefield, um, I guess it's the Bluefield Courthouse. It's K, I'll, I'll have to, I can't remember the name. It's K. Sorry, my bad. Um, it wasn't K, it was Elizabeth Key Federal Building. Um, that's what that was. So yeah, we're heading down, um, checking out some of the places. Um, and up here, the buildings on the left are the ones that are going to be tore down. Uh, see that big brick building? That's one of them. Um, uh, it's Montgomery Wards. You can see that they've already started setting up little gates and roadblocks right here, but it's all this section to the left that's going to be tore down, from what I gather. Um, but I know one of them was the old Montgomery Wards building, which was the tallest one. And we'll see it from the other side, too, because I'm going to go up the one-way street on the other side. I'm curious what they'll end up doing with that section. Um, there, we There's already another park there close by it's called chicory square so maybe they'll just make it a larger park eventually there's a park over here on the right too we'll get a closer view of it later but yeah there's uh, a lot of the businesses down through here uh, went out there's uh there is some things coming back some growth and revitalization to the downtown area and i'll show you bits and pieces of that in a little bit but um down and of course dead in front of us is the railroad you know the big old railroad that i was talking about that um hauled all the coal back in the day dead ahead um so yeah we're going to take a left at this red light then take another left and turn right back around and head up those one-way streets all right here on the left is portofino's it's a good restaurant uh they've been recently closed but they have um uh, reopened uh, recently. D they've done some renovations and stuff. There used to be the Landmark Antique Mall right behind, behind us, behind there, but um, it's gone. It's been gone for a while. Um, and then up here is Chicory Square and the back sides of those buildings that I had showed on the trip down the other one-way street. I'm assuming these will be gone too, which they're, um, yeah, you'll see some chain link fence up here. And some red barrel or some orange barrels but yeah we'll see what happens um then right up from there is the intuit place so at least there is a business here for people to work at um 
that came recently actually to the area and then on the right is the Bluefield Arts and Crafts or not well it used to be called Arts and Crafts Bluefield Arts Center and Summit Theater is behind it. All right now we're going to go down these side streets to show you where some revitalization has happened here in Bluefield. Um, the vault uh, was there on the corner that's a restaurant and then um, the first street I'll go down um, first community bank is on the left it's been there for years but then the parking garage is gone so it's just a big old field uh, grassy field now but then there's uh, the movie theater being built and we have the rail yard also on this street um, and that's a really good restaurant but the movie theater is being built um, um, it's on the back side of the Granada um, so at least there'll be a place to, well, another place to watch movies here in Bluefield since the one in, um, the Mercer Mall shut down. All right, now we're going to go up to the end of this street and take a right and go down the street right behind us. Um, that's got some more things there I can show. Um, let's see. The Blue Spoon Cafe is down there. The Granada, which is uh, a theater. It's, uh, I think I just mentioned it before. Yeah, I know I did. Um, it's the theater that they had already have up and running. Since they're working on the one on the, the street I was just on. Um, I think I mentioned the vault already. That's a restaurant. It used to be a bank. Um, let's see, the library is there. That library has been there for years. Um, gosh, ever since I was a kid. So yeah, the library is still here. But there's still a few empty buildings, as you can see. The building over here on the left used to be AAA. It's empty. Yeah, there's a couple more shops up here that were open too, so that's good that there's some stuff here. Too bad the whole area couldn't be revitalized, but at least some stuff is still here. Well, that's about all I have to show you, and uh, so I'll cut this off. But this is Angie um, from ToriAngie.com. Come to my website, check it out, read my blogs, um, look at uh, making appointments with me so I can help you research or give advice even help with bookings on your next travel vacation um, yeah that's all have a good one